heard from Jimmy lately, Mr. Johnson? Yes, had a letter last Tuesday. He's still out there trying to knock down Jap planes. Well, I hope he gets plenty of them. <laughs> you don't seem to like Japs, Mrs. Murdoch. I'd like to see them and their whole country wiped right off the face of the earth. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Never did we consider Germans the same way we considered Japanese. You know, the grin, the slanty eyes, the glasses. Because it had to be race, the Jap or the Nip. There may have been a Japanese spy here and there, as there was a Soviet spy, or as it was a German spy, but as far as the people, a threat. That's a fire they won't put out. Remember Manila, Hong Kong, Nanking, and a few others, Mr. Nippon? You better duck. Bullseye! And more Japs meet their ancestors. They were sent to. And they called them relocation centers. We love euphemism, you see. Centers. We came to hate them as enemies because they killed friends. And I guess that's a more or less normal progression of feeling. Uh, but also they practiced atrocities. They taught us to be atrocious. You had to have hatred or you couldn't go on. It took, uh, it took that hatred uh, to keep you motivated. Uh, otherwise, there'd be no point to it. You know, you can't kill something you don't want to eat or <laughs> eat or kill. You got to have a reason. And hating them was a, all the reason I needed. I've seen Marines tied up to a tree and used for bayonet practice. I've seen them, uh, their heads cut off. I've seen them, their testicles cut off, uh, penis cut off. I've seen them use a bayonet on people, maybe 50 or 60 bayonet thrusters through, through the guy, and where any one of the first one had killed him. And he just keeps keeps going, you know, and keeps, I guess they all took a turn or whatever. I don't know what the hell it is. They took a strip piece of bamboo and they water, put water, put it in water, which soaks it, and they tied it around my testicles. And they put me out in the sun and let the bamboo start to shrink as it started to squeeze my testicles. All you fine boys in your comfortable box holes, listen closely. Did you hear a baby crying? Your baby, all alone at home while your wife sits in the night. I seen something falling over a cliff. The Japanese soldiers was telling these women that the Americans would get their kids and torture them. There wasn't a thing we could do, so we just sat there and we watched. I think most of us felt that, well, let them kill themselves. It has nothing to do with us. We really didn't care. Let them jump. Let's, let's get this thing over with already. Enough is enough. You patrol the sand with the far and lonely island. Well, one that attacked that would, uh, wouldn't surrender and they fought until death. And uh, I, I tried to accommodate as many of them as I could while I was out there. Hospital wards with your broken and tortured body. Did she write to you today? Or was her mind too full of thoughts of that big fellow who sits beside her in the car pool? My 
wife said one time, she said, you keep calling them Japs. You think that's the proper thing to do this day and time? I said, I don't give a damn where it's proper or not. To me, he's a damn Jap then and he's still a damn Jap. And I said, as long as I live, that's what I'll call him. And as long as I live, I'll hate the SOB too. <laughs>